I shan't move for a week, I think. I shan't either. Percival cannot have been what we are here for. Why do you say that? Well, now the meal is finished and we are surrounded by peelings and breadcrumbs. Percival has already been and left, yet we cannot and will not move. It is that simple. The sun no longer stood in the middle of the sky. Its light slanted, falling obliquely. The waves massed themselves, curved their backs and crashed. They swept around the table lengths, and the spray leaping high, saturated fabrics that had been dry before, and left them damp as the wave drew back. The sun shines from a clear sky. But 14 hours brings neither rain nor sunshine. Do you still overwork yourself, Louis? I feel half in love with the typewriter and the telephone. Yet I still keep my little attic room. There I open a book. There I watch the rain glisten on the tiles. There I see the broken windows in poor people's houses and the lean cats. There, sometimes Rhoda comes. And you, Susan, how is your life? I pal about the house all day long in apron and slippers, like my mother did. And yes, I stoop, I feed my baby, and I'm always tired. But my day goes on, my husband will come home, he will increase my possessions. I'm glutted with natural happiness. Natural happiness? (laughs) You know, I know emptiness too. I stand a little animal in the heart of London, in the heart of life. I follow its banners, but... It is so uneasy with flashing lights. It's funny. Maybe one night I'll meet a man who is a judge, and a man who is a millionaire. That man, I see, with the eyeglass, shot his governess through the heart with an arrow when he was ten years old. (laughs) Night opens. Night traversed by wandering moths. Night hiding lovers roaming to an adventure. I have lived my life, I must tell you, all these years. I do not really settle long anywhere. I am going to be buffeted, flung up and down like a ship on the sea. Life comes, life goes. We make life. One may die tonight, another will beget a child. Time passes, yes, it feels like two years, and we grow old. But when he came, everything changed. I've known too much disappointment in this life. I hate men who wear crucifixes on the left side of their waistcoats. I'm ugly and weak. I'm the depravity of the world. The sun had now sunk lower in the sky. The waves no longer visited the further pools or reached the dotted black line which lay irregularly upon the beach. The sand was pearl white, smoothed and shining. All for a moment wavered and bent into uncertainty and ambiguity, as if a great moth sailing through the room had shadowed the immense solidity of chairs and tables with floating wings. Time lets fall its drop. I have lost my youth too, and still, the truth is that I am not one of those who find their satisfaction in one person or in infinity. Rhoda, are you okay? You are paler than ever. There is some check in the flow of my being. A deep stream presses on some obstacle. It jerks, it tugs. Some knot in the sand to resist, but it care not. So, Bernard, this drop, what is it? A new chapter? A new formation of this unknown, strange, altogether unidentified and terrifying experience? I need no more of this. I have reached the summit of my desires. The violent passions of childhood, my tears in the garden when Ginny kissed Louis, my rage in the schoolroom which smelt of pine, my loneliness in foreign places have twisted into familiarity. I am sick of natural happiness and phrases that Bernard made when we were children. Ah, yes. We are all pellets. We are all phrases in Bernard's story. (sighs) What are you talking about? But now we have lost our glory. When we were young, we sat anywhere on bare benches in drafty halls, with the doors always banging. I used to put out flowers or cigarettes and rearrange my furniture in case you would come, or Bernard, or Louis. Well, I am sorry, Neville. No matter now. 
there was always someone else. Another man would visit me in the afternoon. I was too often engaged in solitude, too much aligned with my books and poetry to know anything of natural happiness. Percival died. Rhoda left me. Rhoda, with whom I shared the silence, when you spoke, when she- Oh, shut up, Louis, shut up! <sighs> oh, life, how have I dreaded you! Rhoda? Oh, human beings, how have I hated you! I have been stained by you and corrupted. What desolation of the soul you demanded in order to get through one day. None had the courage to be one thing, right than another. Have you changed me to one spot, one hour, one chair, and sat yourself down opposite? <sighs> but I yielded. What you did, I did. If Susan and Ginny pulled up their stockings like that, I pulled mine up like that also. You need not have, Rhoda. I know. I am your empress. And I will climb this mountain, from the top of which I shall see Africa. We have known nothing of Rhoda's torment, and see only now that she is disappearing by the hour. There is only one thing she within me, and the infinite depths. I feel myself going paler, fading away, ready to join the ocean. Who then comes with me? Rippling small, rippling grey, innumerable waves spread beneath us. I touch nothing. I see nothing. <gasps> Rhoda? What do we do? <coughs> Save Rhoda. Oh, no. Help! Help oh. us! Rhoda. We may sink and settle on the waves. The sea will drum in my ears. The white petals will be darkened with seawater. They will float for a moment and then sink. Rolling me over the waves will shoulder me under. Everything falls in a tremendous shower. Dissolving me. Dissolving me. <gasps> Raiders fall in the water. I have fallen down into nothingness before. I must push my foot stealthily lest I should fall off the edge of the wall into nothingness. I have to bang my head against some hard door to call myself back to the body. She's not here. I'm fishing through the water. There are pools of it in my palm, but Rhoda is nowhere. She has disappeared. She has disappeared. Oh, this is pain. This is anguish. I faint. I fail. Now my body thaws. I am unsealed. I'm incandescent. Now the stream pours in a deep tide, fertilizing, opening the shot, forcing the tide folded, flooding free. The, the waves, waves broke, broke on the shore. shore.